Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Digital Classroom. Digital Classroom is made possible by BenQ and Rogue. And in Digital Classroom I show you tips about Photoshop, Lightroom and a lot of other software. And in this case Premiere, because Premiere we use for almost all our videos. Now, as you may or may not know, we edit most of our videos on my laptop. Now my laptop is a very fast one, the Dell XPS series. But maybe you're working on a laptop that isn't that fast and you do need to work on the road. So what do you do? Do you save all your products until you're home behind a faster computer? Or do you do it on your laptop and, well, do you speed up that workflow? Well, today I'm going to show you a very simple trick to speed up that workflow. So join us for today's episode of Digital Classroom. Okay, so we're in Premiere and you all know the feeling, right? You importing 4K video, you're on the timeline and even on one fourth of resolution, as you can see here in the drop down menu, it still goes really, really slow. So what do you do? Again, you don't want to wait until you're home because you have to finish that project. Well, luckily, there's a really cool solution for this. Do you see this icon over here, toggle proxies? If you press on it, you will see little black bars on the side. And that means that at this moment, I'm in proxy mode. But what is proxy? Well, it's actually very simple to explain, but first I have to show you something else. If you start up Premiere, you won't see this icon. You have to edit. You go to the plus and you just drag it into your taskbar over here. So make sure that you see this little proxy icon. If you don't see it, just press plus and just drag it in there. Okay, now that we've done that, let's see what it actually does. If you go to file and you go into project settings, you'll see ingest settings. Just press it. And now you can see that when I ingest my files, so when I import my files, I want to create proxies. So I don't want to copy, I don't want to transcode, I just want to create proxies. Now you can choose the resolution and in my opinion, I would choose the lowest resolution possible for the very simple reason, it's a small screen you're looking at. So just use as small as possible. Proxy destination, you can choose same as project or preset destination or creative cloud or you can choose your own location. Because we always delete those files, I always do it in the same folder as the project. And at that time you only press OK and that's it. Now the moment you import, Premiere in the backdrop will actually start rendering those smaller files. The cool thing about Premiere is you can start working immediately, even if the proxies aren't ready yet. You just drag everything on your time uh, timeline and start editing. As soon as the proxies are ready, you will work with the proxies. So it's a really simple way and this way you can work way faster in Premiere because proxies, well, they're really, really smooth on the timeline. And again, I'm working on a really fast laptop, but even my laptop struggles a little bit when I do this stuff with 4K. So let's see how it looks at 4K. And again, this is a really fast laptop. But as you can see here, it really struggles. And as soon as I go back to proxy, well, there we go. Okay, I don't want to make these videos too long, so that was our tip for today. Use those proxies and really speed up your workflow. Thank you so very much for watching, guys. If you like what we do, subscribe to our channel, leave comments below, smash that like button, because we really like that. And of course, tell other people about our channel so we can grow. But most of all, leave comments below so I can give you answers and maybe make videos that you guys want to see. Thank you so very much for watching, guys. And thanks to BenQ and Rogue for sponsoring Digital Classroom. See you next time.